Well, The Guardian has always been a great champion of the environment and has probably done it way before it was fashionable or um, something that people talked about, probably over 30 years. I, I was a reader before I worked at The Guardian and The Guardian Media Group, and um, it's uh, just a very important subject, and so that's why. I feel very angry, um, usually, um, and because it's so criminal, it feels, you know, you can see when you witness it or you see it in films, you know it's absolutely wrong. Um, and then I feel I want to do something about it. So it, it, that anger translates into, you know, something has to be done. The really scary thing about cl uh, climate change is that it's actually invisible. I mean, it doesn't really have to affect your daily life if you live here. And so I think that makes it all the more important that you have to bring it into your personal life and you've got to bring it into your working life. And so from a work point of view, we moved building very recently and it's informed everything we've done in the new building. So whether it's um, very envir environmentally um, fr friendly electricity, the f you know, we actually want to be carbon positive rather than carbon neutral. So as a business, we've taken the opportunity of moving to be, uh, to really, really push what we do and to engage all of our people in it. I think the really important thing is you have to keep reminding people because I think otherwise it just kind of recedes. I think uh, the thing public figures can do is just keep talking about it but in an inspiring and engaging way rather than in a hectoring or lecturing way. I think the danger is that you know when everybody talks about it it sounds really um, as if you know if you don't you know it's, it's kind of a punishing way of talking about it. So I think the thing to do is to really make it inspiring to say, you know, you can actually change what is going on and everybody can make a difference. Um, and I think actually that will work um, with people who are much younger as well. So the next generation coming through, you know, I think it's really, really important for them to feel that they can really do something, you know, meaningful about climate change. I've been to Ecuador and travelled around um, there for about a month and I've been to Guatemala and I suppose the, I just think it's beautiful and very noisy. But my favourite rainforest, the thing I remember most about it, strangely, was those big blue, those beautiful big blue butterflies, which you know are just extraordinary.